Professor Clark, good to have you with us. So what are the two sides do you think going to get from this meeting? Yes, I mean, uh, the North Koreans will try to get grain out of this and food. Um, about a, th a quarter of North Korea's population of 26-odd million people is said by the United Nations already to be starving and the other three quarters are at subsistence levels. So they certainly need food, they need oil. The Russians, of course, need ammunition. Um, not immediately, but the Russians have probably used, maybe be depending on the usage rate on a daily basis, they've probably used between 8 and 11 million uh, artillery rounds so far in the war since uh, February last year. Um, and they, they've had stocks of maybe 20 million rounds and they produce best, the best thing produce about a million more a year. So they need ammunition. Um, that's what they'll get out of it. And the war, of course, just goes on absorbing more and more ammunition. Yeah, and let's go to the war now. And Russian troops are on the move. Yeah, the, the Russians are moving troops. I mean, they're moving some of the good troops. They've been massing troops up here opposite Kharkiv for a big, a big counter push, but that hasn't made much progress. Mm. And they're bringing troops down. They did this a couple of weeks ago, and we now know they've brought some more troops down, the 42nd Division, whole division, and they've taken out some of the VDV regiments from other divisions. So the VDV are the airborne forces. They've taken out some of the best forces, seven different regiments from four different divisions. They've also sent them down there to the southern area which is Tokmak, uh, which is where they are, uh, where the, the real battle is now going on. Mm -hmm. And so this area, the, the Orykiv access, uh, as it's called, south of Orykiv, and the, uh, the Ukrainians have taken Robotini, they're pushing towards Tokmak. That's a really key issue, key area. And the Russians look as if they brought troops down towards Melitopol and they're sending them to the front in Tokmak mm -hmm. because they're determined to try to hold it while the Ukrainians push down against it. Prevent the Ukrainians pushing through. And in, in the last uh, sort of out few hours, we've had some amazing footage that's been released as well of uh, Ukrainian special forces. Yeah, I mean, if we just go back to the previous map, this is the, the big map, we look at Crimea. Um, there is an area there called the, uh, the Boyka Towers, mm -hmm. which is off the west coast of, of Crimea. And it's, it's about uh, a third of the way into the, uh, into the, the, the Black Sea. So if you think of the, the Boyka Towers there, these are four oil and gas rigs, and those rigs uh, were occupied by the Russians in 2015. Mm -hmm. So the Ukrainians have now taken them back. And the fact is, that these are something that they lost a long time ago in the first Russian gra land grab. So they're already, they would say, they're taking back territory that they lost a long time ago. And these rigs are important because that gives them a base to put more pressure on Crimea. If they can get some, some missile launches onto those this rigs... footage of it, can't we? They'll well. use them against Crimea. Yeah, and, a, I mean, this, yeah. Assault, was it? this is the footage that's come from the GUR, which is the special forces, um, uh, or the, the group that operates the special forces in Ukraine. And obviously, this is what they want you to see. But clearly, it shows a pretty um, efficient looking amphibious operation. That's one of the four rigs. Yep. And it's a pretty good amphibious operation to get hold of the rigs, Nuclear get the Russians the Russian off there. Off, yep. And they did have to fight for them. Uh, and get their own material on there. Now, the Russians will undoubtedly attack the rigs, so they want to get some anti-aircraft um, missiles, defensive missiles, onto the rigs quickly, and they'll want to do a whole series of other things. But the fact that they've got hold of the rigs again is symbolically important, but it also will, will create that area of pressure on Crimea. A couple of weeks ago, they took down some of the air defence of Crimea, and that gives them a, a, a temporary hole in Russia's air defence. We now know this is one of the things they pushed through that hole before the Russians could repair the air defence. Fascinating. Right, Professor Clark, always great to get your analysis. Thank you very much.